Excuse me? Can you explain why you're doing that? Sure, yeah. I'm, I'm an independent journalist. My He's name is Sean. doing it to get new likes on YouTube. I'm doing it to get likes on YouTube? Yeah. So everybody watching this video should hit the like button? Uh, is that what you're saying? Yeah, <laughs> well, we don't want to... You're an asshole. I'm not consenting to being filmed, and the showman's filming me, making me very uncomfortable. I don't, I don't hear. Yeah. You you're safe with me. You're okay. Camera Nothing. can't hurt anyone. We can go up together. How's it going? You enjoy your day? The, today, yeah. Alright, good. The day that you put me in a cell wasn't too enjoyable for me. Sergeant, it sounds to me like you're already trying to cover this up and not do your job. That's what it sounds like to me, Sergeant. Mr. Reyes, you have put this on the internet for millions of people to view. Okay. okay. I'm not covering up anything. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here. Back again with another video. Today we're at the Nassau County Police Department headquarters here in Mineola, New York. We are here today as always to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and to publicly accessible areas to promote transparency and accountability within our government and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. We are also here to submit a formal FOIL request to the Nassau County Police Department here for body camera footage from various officers that we've had interactions with this past week, including our unlawful arrest. Also, we would like to speak to somebody from Internal Affairs to submit a formal statement and initiate a complaint against those officers. Hopefully we don't run into any issues here today while exercising our constitutional rights. Without further ado, let's get into it. So as we walk inside of the headquarters here, audio and or video recordings, or photography. Hey, how are you? How are you? How can I help? I would like to speak with somebody from Internal Affairs, please. Submit a complaint. Uh, if you have to your right, there's a phone on the wall. I'm going to give you that phone number. Over here? Yeah, hold on one second. Sure, no problem. So, before we were interrupted. It's just going to be four numbers 7120. 712. Zero. That's that direct line. Okay. Internal Affairs. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, how you doing? Who am I speaking with? I'm the clerk, can I help you? Hi, I would like to speak with um, an Internal Affairs officer to file a, a complaint. Okay, you want to make a complaint? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can I have your name, please? My first name is Sean Paul, S-E-A-N-P-A-U-L, one word. Sean Paul, okay, hold on just one moment, please. All right, no problem, thank you, ma'am. Hopefully we're able to speak with someone here. You could see, they're not very open to the public here in Nassau, the Nassau County Police Department, which honestly makes a lot of sense, seeing as we were arrested for promoting transparency and accountability within our government. Audio and video recording while inside this area is forbidden without the express permission of the Nassau County Commissioner of Police. Oh, the same Commissioner of Police who was investigated for making racist statements. That, that police commissioner, huh? Look, they have a bunch of no recording signs everywhere. Audio and video recording is forbidden without the express permission of the public servant that we pay. $250,000, that's what the Nassau County Commissioner of Police gets paid. And we have to, we the people have to ask him for permission to record in our building. Make it make sense, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see, there aren't any statutes associated with this sign, it is just a printed policy, a policy by the Nassau County Police Department that is in direct violation of New York State law, the Right to Record Act. So, again, they are in violation of the law here. We're gonna see if we can hold them accountable. Hello? Sergeant Apollo Panel, Internal Affairs. Hi, sir, how are you? Hi. Hi, I would like to speak with somebody to make a complaint. Mr. Reyes? Yes. Regarding your arrest? That's correct, sir. We already have a complaint. I'll give you the number for it. I have a statement here that I wanted to submit to someone. Okay. You have a, you have a written statement? I'm not, I, I don't... I didn't, I didn't file a complaint against anyone. All right, regarding the incident? Yes. 
Okay. Regarding the arrest at the Department of Social Services, sir. I'm aware. The complaint number is 238 of 2023. And I'm the handling investigator. And your name was again? Sergeant Napolitano. Sergeant Napolitano? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you come down here and speak with me and take my statement for the you want open... To statement? Yes, please. Okay, well, let me talk to my boss, okay? And we'll set something up, okay? Sure, Sergeant, sure. Do you have an attorney at this time? Excuse me, sir? Do you have an attorney in your criminal matter at this time? Right, right now, I'm not represented by counsel currently. Not represented by counsel currently? That's correct. Well, right now, there's an open pending criminal investigation. We're monitoring the investigation. Once the criminal matter is resolved, you can come in and we'll do a statement for you. So, but is it, why can't I make a statement before the criminal matter is resolved? There is an ongoing criminal matter. I understand, sir. You're not you're not my attorney. I, I understand. Thank you for the legal advice you're trying to give me, sir. But I'm just trying to participate in the investigation that you I, are conducting. Have I have a right to do that. Yeah, and I have and I have a right to give my side of the story on what happened. Too, but it will be after the criminal investigation is completed. Okay. So you're are you currently investigating, or are you going to wait until the? Investigating. I gave you the number. So why can't you just come down here and take my and why can't you just come down here and take my statement? So I have, we it, have a process. I, I have it ready. Through. Investigation, okay. And that your process for internal affairs doesn't involve speaking to the complainant in the matter. No, there is law which we have to separate criminal investigations. Well, I can understand that for the sake of you right, know my, my rights. Speak. Okay, That's sure, I can understand that. You're gonna let me speak. Sure, sir. I can. I'll let you speak. So when a investigation is done by internal affairs, okay, the officers who are investigated, it has to be separated, okay. So there's a criminal investigation, right? So there's, let's say possibly there was criminal charges against any of the cops. We cannot have interviews which interfere with a criminal investigation and it mixes with an administrative review, okay? It's federal law, it's Garrity. All right, so that's why but, we- But that, the, so the, we Garrity law, the Garrity law doesn't apply to members of the public, sir. The, Gar the, the Garrity law applies to we allow, your officers here. We allow the criminal investigation to be completed first in order to make sure there is no Garrity interference. But that applies to the officers, sir. I'm very familiar with the Garrity Correct. law. Correct. And th that applies to the officers. I am not a this law enforcement officer. Process and internal affairs. I understand that, but I'm not a law Reyes. enforcement officer, sir. Mr. Reyes. The, I listen to you, sir, respectfully, and I'm just asking that you listen to me. 23, okay? Excuse me? Have any other complaints besides your arrest? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm here trying to file an... I've, I've filed many internal affairs complaints across this country, so I'm very f well familiar with internal affairs complaints. So, and I'm saying there is an open investigation. And, and I understand that, and I can appreciate okay. that, Sergeant, but that doesn't stop you from taking a statement from the complaint from the complaint in an internal affairs time, request. After? Or internal affairs investigation, sir. It doesn't stop... You're not right. bound by any law not to take my statement, sir. Mr. Reyes, at this time, we are not going to take the statement after a criminal investigation is being completed. Okay, it's a new investigation. We have 18 months to complete the investigation. Oh, sure. I'm not trying to rush you to complete an investigation. I'm just trying to give you all the pertinent facts and all the information you would need to conduct a proper investigation, sir. Okay. Like the statement from a complaining witness, sir. We will, once the criminal investigation is completed, we will contact you. We have your contact information. But what does my, what does the criminal investigation, what does the criminal prosecution of me have to do with Reyes, an internal affairs I'm complaint, not sir? i get into an argument with you. I don't want to argue with you, sir. I'm asking you to do your job, and I'm asking I you to. Doing my job. Your no. job is to take complaints from complainants, sir, of and the I public. Do have a it's number two, thirty-eight. I I am the complainant in the case, uh, and I am trying to provide you with a written statement to assist you in your investigation. I have no. Right. I have no concern about it affecting my. Um, are, are the are the officers being criminally prosecuted? No, correct. They're never going to be criminally prosecuted. You know that, Sergeant. Not at this time. And they're not going to. You know that, Sergeant. But at the end of the day, I'm being criminally prosecuted, and I have no problem with giving you a statement. What's the issue with taking a statement from a complaining witness? Right. You're give, you can give a statement once the criminal process is completed. What okay. criminal process? My criminal process? Yes, once the criminal process is completed. But what does that have to do with it? You mentioned Garrity. That has nothing to do with anything, sir. It does. Okay. Can Mr. I speak Reyes? to your supervisor, sir? Mr. Reyes. Yes, Sergeant. I am a supervisor, okay? I understand, but you're you're not being cooperative with me and you're not I doing your job. I gave you the complaint number. 
I, I, I understand. Thank you for that complaint number. I truly appreciate it. I have a statement here that can go into that file where that where you have that complaint number on. I have a written statement right now. I have a written statement right and now. You can give it to the officer up front and we will take it. Oh, but, okay. so now you'll take the statement? You said before you wanted to make a statement downstairs. Yeah, what does so it you matter? If something written, we'll take it and we'll take it under advice. So because it's written, you'll take it, but if I wanted to vocally add things, you, you won't? Does that make sense, Sergeant? If you want to add things after their criminal investigation, you can add it, okay? Sir, I, I don't understand what does a criminal investigation have to do with any of this, sir. If something to get to someone up front, he will take it and deliver it to internal affairs, okay? But why can't you speak to me? Isn't that pro I, isn't that your policy? Isn't that your policy to come down here and speak to me, and we can and I can give you all the information that you need and and, and write your statement? Right, we are talking in circles until the criminal investigation is completed. Sergeant, it sounds to me like you're already trying to cover this up and not do your job. That's what it sounds like to me, Sergeant. Mr. Reyes, you have put this on the internet for millions of people to view. Okay, okay. We're not covering up anything. We have the body camera footage. I understand. If you would that. like the body camera footage. You can do a FOIL request. I, oh, I have that with me as well here today, That's sir. That's fine. And also, it is you are entitled to the body camera footage during the criminal investigation during discovery. I understand no that, sir. No one is covering up anything. I appreciate the legal uh, analysis, sir. I really do. I appreciate it. I, I'm just saying okay. that it seems kind of suspicious that you wouldn't want to speak to the complainant. I'm willing to speak with internal affairs without my without an attorney present. I'm willing to speak with you in order to get to the bottom of this and have this be a thorough and complete investigation, sir. Yes. And I'm that's, that's all I'm asking for. Yes, that's all I'm asking. I am giving you the answer and it's not going to change. But why is that, sir? Take, you will get a statement. This is not how you normally handle internal affairs and investigations, sir. I already sir. have a complaint. I, I understand that, but I am the I am the person that was. You have the complaint. I understand. You've probably received many many phone calls. I understand yeah. that, sir. But I did not call you. This is my first time speaking with you, Sergeant, and I am trying to participate in the complaint that has to do with me being take. put in a jail cell for six hours take. and my rights violated, sir. Okay, we will take any statement at this time. Okay. Okay. So can you come downstairs and take my statement? You can give the written statement over, and we'll take your statement after the criminal is completed okay thank you very much Mr. that that's not the way that works sir <laughs> wow well there you have it ladies and gentlemen that is how internal affairs sergeant treats the members of the public absolutely ridiculous so let's see if we can submit this foil request Yes, sir. I have a FOIL request here I would like to submit to the records department. Sure. You want me to help you out with that? If you, if you can, yeah. You got it. Sure. Hold on one second. Boy, well, contact info's on there. So yeah, the requester information is on there. All my contact information is on there, officer, as well as the three. That's my cell phone number, email address, um, as well as the three documents I'm requesting, the records, the body camera footages from three different incidents. Copy. All right, I'll can, get this can, right into them. Can you get me a signed and received copy, please? Will do. Thank, Thank you, sir. Right. I appreciate that. For it. Oh, you watch my videos? Long Island audit. I'm not subscribed, but yes, it do watch it. You're not subscribed. <laughs> it's all right. Bro, good luck to you, man. Thank you. I'm doing the best I can out here. Thank you, man. Good luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm from Suffolk. Oh, you live in Suffolk? Yeah, I'm from, I'm from Suffolk. I don't know if you've seen. I had a bunch of uh, craziness happen to me right, here in uh, Nassau County. but live? No, I'm not live right now. It's static recording, but yeah, so I'm just trying to handle it, make the best out of the situation. Do you think I'd raise? Can I get a company license? I don't have any identification on me. I don't carry identification. Nothing? I think that's a necessary requirement. No, not not under the uh, FOIL law, the Freedom of Information Sorry, law. It's not required. Documents are not required. That's your copy? Yes, sir. Okay, any questions, call Legal Bureau directly regarding that. Regu the, the Nassau County Legal Bureau? Correct. Okay, for the police department or for yeah, the county? For the police department. Okay, for the police department, great. Yeah. And. Um, I guess I'll just try and keep getting in contact with internal affairs and if they could take my statement. I really, you're right, I don't want to deal with you regarding the open internal That's affairs. That's your decision, you sure? Yeah, I, I, I understand, it's just, I, I was trying to speak to somebody for internal affairs. You don't work for internal affairs, correct? Correct. correct. So that's my main goal here is to speak to somebody from internal affairs and, yeah. and, and give a statement. So if they're refusing to speak with me, you know, I know that's not on you, but 
Um, I prefer just to wait and see how that plays out. It's your choice. All right, thanks, Good officer. Right I appreciate here. it. Have a great day. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're just getting out of the Nassau County Police Department headquarters. Over here, the man on the motorcycle is a supporter. It was funny, he said he didn't subscribe to the channel. That's a good reminder for everybody to subscribe, right? But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we tried to file an internal affairs complaint. There is an internal affairs complaint already open. He gave us the number for that complaint, the sergeant that we spoke with. But what I don't appreciate is that I drove all the way here to headquarters to sit down and speak with somebody from internal affairs here at the Nassau County Police Department. Even though there's a complaint already open, I am the one that had my rights violated and that I was taken to a cell for six hours and my property stolen from me. I understand there is criminal proceedings taking place currently against me. I'm confident that we will beat the charges against me and be and found not guilty. But in the meantime, I have nothing to hide. Everything I do is on camera. I'm for transparency and accountability, so I have nothing to hide. So I always sit down with internal affairs departments across this country and give my version of events that will correlate with the camera footage and submit a formal statement for the file. But unfortunately, the Nassau County Police Department, to no surprise of ours, isn't transparent, doesn't want to speak to us. The sergeant went around in circles just to keep making excuses mention Garrity that has to do with law enforcement officers nothing to do with the public it's ridiculous just excuse after excuse he's the investigator handling this case and I can tell just by his responses and how he spoke to me here he's going to investigate his fellow officers and find no wrongdoing that's just the way it is it's very sad here out of all the police departments I've been to across the country I've never been refused to speak with somebody from internal affairs to submit a complaint. Obviously they have those signs, probably four or five signs on the inside of this lobby here that say it's forbidden to record unless you get the permission of the controversial Nassau County Police Department commissioner who was investigated for making racist comments and for being discriminatory when he's hiring for the Nassau County Police Department. It's ridiculous. You can't make this up. I feel like I'm living in some type of corruption movie here. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Hopefully internal affairs will speak to us and sit down with us and face us and talk to us on camera so that we the people can see that they're taking this seriously and investigating this incident in a serious manner. I take it very seriously when my freedom is taken from me, right? I hope that the Nassau County Police Department is taking it seriously. It doesn't look like they're taking it seriously. It looks like they hate transparency and accountability. They're going to investigate themselves and find no wrongdoing. But let me know what you think about this one in the comment section below. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island audit. Peace.